Hey there guys, I am The Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. We have seen a huge, huge swathe of data sheets, rules and points costs for the new Orc Codex and again today we are going to be taking a quick look at one of the very much improved units, hopefully without the entire video being invalidated an hour after I upload it, like the damn Killikan video yesterday, because I'm still a little bit salty about that. I'm annoyed they're nowhere near as good as I was hoping they were. But today we are going to be taking a look at the Dakajet, which has had quite possibly one of the most impressive bumps in effectiveness in the entire game. It really has gone from kind of meh to absolutely mind-blowingly good. With a previous cost of 170 points if you purchased the two optional super shooters, which you always really should do, the Dakajet could pump out a pretty fearsome 18 strength 6 minus 1 AP shots into almost any target on the battlefield and with their unique plus 1 to hit if they fired all their weapons at the same target, it was always very much a good idea to go after big hordes of infantry or small min squads of units holding objectives to try and use that weight of fire to just chew through as many of your opponents infantry models as you possibly could. And in the new 9th edition codex, the Dakajet has had some fairly substantial changes, the most notable of which is of course the change from its Assault 3 super shooters to the far superior Dakar 6-4 profile. And on a vehicle that can move so far across the board every single turn, you should realistically always be able to get within half range with these guns to make use of that six shot profile, which means that you can potentially be putting out an almighty 36 shots every single turn, which is double what you were doing in 8th edition. Two rules have been removed which helped to get the most out of the Dakar jet in the previous edition in the form of its plus one to hit if you fired at the same target which was a rule called all the Dakar and of course the other special rule of Dakar Dakar Dakar. And with those two rules combined it meant that you could usually reliably get about ten and a half hits on a target but despite the loss of these rules with the new and improved Dakar profile on the weapons, your average hits are still now much better than they were before, with your shooting now reliably getting a good 12 hits thanks to your 36 shots even though you are now hitting on 5s. So even had the points value of this thing stayed the same, the Dakar jet has been buffed in terms of its damage output. But of course, they aren't the same points value. The Dakar jet has had one of the most aggressive points cuts in the entire codex, dropping from a full 170 points with 6 super shooters to an unbelievably cheap 120 points in the new 9th edition codex with that same 6 shooter loadout. And before you can even finish thinking about how impressive that 50 point price drop is, it's worth noting they also gained a few abilities to help them perform even better. Naturally, like other Orc vehicles, they now have the Ramshackle rule, which gives them a lot more survivability against weapons like auto cannons and other high rate of fire 2 damage weaponry that are usually what people use to chip down and bring down enemy light vehicles and flyers, so these are going to be a lot less useful at bringing down your Dakar jets now, and a good example of this is a squad of three Primaris Suppressors, which go from causing four damage to the Dakar jet in 8th edition to a mere two damage now, meaning they will need twice as many turns or twice as many squads to bring down your much sturdier flyer. And then alongside that, one of the new custom jobs in the new codex, more Dakar, is absolutely fantastic for the Dakar jet. More Dakar allows you to roll a d6 whenever you shoot, and on a 4 plus, each Dakar weapon on the model gains plus one shot, and if you roll a 6 on that d6, it gains two. So that is a potential of 12 extra shots on top of the 36 that you will already be getting, and this will serve to massively increase the already enormous number of shots which your Dakar jet can put downrange. 
And then on top of that, if you wanted even more firepower, it is, as a vehicle, also able to benefit from the Speedwire ability, which will not only net you an additional 6 shots, which means that your Dakajet Jet will be firing a potential of 54 strength 6 shots if you manage to get the more Daka roll of a 6 and then activate the Speedwire, which is, quite frankly, I think more dice than any other unit in the game throws, at least more than any other single unit in the game throws as far as I can tell, maybe not like a, a titan or something, but any normal unit, I think that may well be the most dice that a single individual model can throw in this entire game. But on top of that, it also bumps up your AP across two entire turns with the speed war, so your super shooters will be strength 6 and minus 2 AP, which turns them into a genuinely terrifying anti-infantry weapon no matter whether you're up against guard or tyranids or even marines. The loss of the 4 plus to hit thanks to all the Daka is a bit of a shame I will admit because it did make the Daka jet one of the more accurate orc units but in all honesty the fast moving and flying vehicles are massively set up to benefit from the DACA weapon profile so much because they can pretty much always get into half range. It means that you will 100% of the time be doing more damage even though you're hitting on 5s compared to the old profile still hitting on 4s. And I think it's entirely fair to say that the DACA jet is not only the most improved unit in the entire Orc Codex, but with its absolutely massive 50 points price drop, arguably one of the best anti-infantry flyers in the entire game right now. It is honestly brilliant for bringing bucket loads of dice, literal bucket loads of dice, to take out enemy infantry, and it is fantastically priced to slot one or even two into your lists very, very easily. But what do you think of the Dakajet? Are you pleased with the massive points drop, or would you have preferred it got buffed in some other way to make it perhaps more killier? And do you think it has got enough to warrant a spot in your green tide? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me, but until next time, I will catch you later guys.